This video is brought to you by HP Omen. Hi everybody, I'm Alvin Zeidenfeld, and I'm here with Jacob Wolf. Let's just jump right into it. Last year, Team USA was eliminated by South Korea uh, in the quarterfinals, I believe. Yep. Yeah, it's one of the most exciting matches uh, in the entire World Cup tournament. How does it look like these two teams might face each other again this year, possibly in the semifinals? What do you predict for that sort of a matchup? I still think that Team South Korea is better than Team USA this year. I actually think both teams, because of things like the Overwatch League, and we've gotten to see sort of what the talent pool looks like in both countries, mm -hmm. I think that it is better overall, both teams are. I'm really kind of interested to see how they match up. I do think that, that they will breeze by their quarterfinals opponents very easily, and they'll meet each other again in the semifinal. And I think that that match overall will be pretty fantastic. Um, but I still, I still would give the edge to Team South Korea. Does the United States have a chance to win that matchup? Zero to nothing, honestly. It's very little chance. I don't, I don't know if like I'm a betting man, I, I still put my money on Team South Korea. They have uh, Jonak and, and Carpe, who are both MVP finalists. Fantastic during the, the duration of the Overwatch League. And I think overall, like I'm, I don't think Team, Team USA has a chance. I do think that they could take some maps and I think they can make it interesting once again. Mm -hmm. But I think overall that Team Korea has got this one in the back. Yeah, Team South Korea is so deep that uh, it's been said that you can take any 10 competitors that are in the esports world from South Korea and field a team that would win this World Cup. That being said, uh, there is a third place match that if the United States loses South Korea in the semifinals, do you think that they could win that match and take home third? I do think so. I think that they'll be meeting probably the, the likes of France or Canada. That match shakes out a little bit more even in between Canada or France versus USA. I still would give the edge to USA. I think many of the players on Team USA are incredibly talented, the likes of Sinatra and some of the others. But I still would give the edge to Team USA. I think that they could walk away out of this tournament as the third place. Now talking about the other side of the bracket, we have France, Canada, China, Finland. Who do you think makes the final out of that side and who's going to make the third place game out of that side? I think whoever wins the France-Canada quarterfinal is the one that walks through that bracket to the final. You know, Finland is a competitive team. There are many very good players that were in the Overwatch League that are on that team. I still give the edge overall, though, to the likes of Canada or France. I think they're both incredibly talented. This is the French team. Many of them have played in the World Cup. This will be their third year. So they have a little bit of experience in this exact same environment in the exact same arena. And uh, many of them played on a team formerly called Rogue and they're comfortable with one another. They didn't, some of them didn't play together this past season in the Overwatch League, but they did play with each other in the past in Overwatch's history. And I think overall, I would give the edge to France uh, in the matchup for now, but I think Canada is a very close second fiddle to the United States. I think that is the match to watch uh, in the quarterfinal portion of the tournament is Canada versus France. Who do you think is going to be the MVP? You've mentioned Sinatra, you mentioned a couple of the South Korean players. Who do you think walks away with the MVP of this tournament? You know, Jonak is uh, the MVP overall. He played on the New York Excelsior in the Overwatch League. He is on this team, and I think he's incredibly talented. I would love to see Carpe, though, get the MVP. I think that uh, he definitely deserved to be in the conversation, and he was during the Overwatch League for the Overwatch League MVP. I think now the Overwatch World Cup, he has a chance to continue to show why he, he is the best player on the Philadelphia Fusion and why he carried that team to the finals of the Overwatch League. The games aren't played on paper. South Korea, obviously the odds on favorite to win this thing, but what, what if they have their worst day possible that they could have? What team could have their best day possible and give me a dark horse winner uh, in that scenario? I think Team USA, if they're like all at peak and they play incredibly well, mm -hmm. which I think they could, they could beat South Korea, but I don't give them much of a chance overall. Again, South Korean players, it, it's very unlikely that all of the players on Team South Korea have a bad day. Even if one of them does, I think they'll lift each other up and they'll keep it together. You know, if I had to pick a dark horse and they're not like an odds uh, odds off favorite, I would pick Canada. I think Canada is a very good team with some very good players. Made it to the final last year, played okay against South Korea, it was a 4-1 finish. Mm -hmm. But I do think that there's a chance that they could, they could play very well at this tournament. I'm really looking forward to seeing them play. Thank you very much for joining us. If you're looking for more Overwatch World Cup or BlizzCon information, go to ESPN.com slash esports.